Just got off 2341 over there on the 282. Pretty brand new refurbed Kalamanda bus. Very, very nice. It feels very nice now. Before these 2340 series are absolutely trash before the refurb. But right now, some of the earlier ones, like 2340, 2341, are refurbed. So they feel very great right now. And it just got off at stops 29062. Some of these brand new stops for the 282 and 283 here, which is just turned in from Oat Street over there. The 2283 now comes along Swansea Street East the entire time for the whole route because of the uh, Oat Street railway crossing, level crossing up there are closed off that path. So that's why the whole street is closed off up there around the Neville crossing. So crossing the uh, paths that the normal 282 and 283 goes is closed off. So they've rerouted 282 and 283 to just take Swansea Street East the entire time and then binds back to Welshpool Road at the front. Which actually ended off, I should have said in the bus video, but it's not out yet. Ended off Oat Street right now, the station area, does not have any train replacement services to go to the city. Literally zero. You have to come out to the main road for 907. Before you can, like, now there's only Circle Route back there in 37. Which is really bad. But, hey guys, Justin here. I'm in East Victoria Park areas, but it's closest to Oat Street right now. And... Let's do it. According to the, uh, the title, we're going to a uh, Korean restaurant today. Just, uh, I think according to the Google Maps, it's over there at Milford Street over here. So that's the closest stop for the 282 and 283 right there. And then we just bounce back onto Welshpool Road, which is pretty pointless that it actually needs to go into this street. They could have just taken for 282 and 283 like the 907 and 908 and turns directly onto Welshpool Road from Shepparton Road, but they decided not to do that. And instead actually just take the inner street for a little bit for one extra stop before the 282 for the tour city direction it will go this way and then turn onto Milford Street to go up just to serve Old Street Station but right now they don't do that anymore so that's why the road is closed up there so unfortunately but we're going down for a place that I've actually eaten before through Uber Eats but it was so good last time so when I ate it with Uber Eats so that's why I'm coming here today at the spot to eat, dine in. Kimbap, kimbap heaven. That's a Korean place, specialized in kimbap, which is a uh, Korean seafood. I mean, seafood seaweed rice rolls. Now, a lot of people actually mis confuse this with sushi, with the uh, road sushi in Japan. No, they're not the same because these rice they're not vinegared, and they're not cold. Sushi is cold, but these are warm rolls. So that's why I don't misunderstood these as sushi. Here we are, it's a random little hut place over here. But it is uh, probably should be operated by pure uh, Korean people. So the uh, definitely the quality is trustworthy in a short. I don't know when I go back to stick 202 and 203 again. But let's do it. Kimbap. Chongguk. That's Korean, but Himbap Chongguk. Let's do it, it's open. Let's get inside. Alright, so here we go, sat down already, and I ordered two things, which is the bim bim, uh, not bim bim bap, the kimbap, and also the, uh, what is that thing called? The, the... Uh, if you don't mind, can I make a one for a new, new one? Oh yeah, sure, why yeah. not? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, okay, so I actually already got the kimbap because they actually made everything in stock and ready to go, but... Ah. Thank you. Okay, so, well, it's actually very quick, the serving time. They already gave me the bim 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 bap, the kimbap, because all of them are pre-made and they can just pack it and then just go. But they said, let's just make another one for me, which is freshly hot. Oh, I appreciate it. They are recommended to serve with this spicy mayo for the kimbap, which I actually didn't try for the takeaway last time with Uber Eats. I mean, delivery. But they already served me this chapje over here, which is stir-fried sweet potato noodles. With uh, I chose vegetable because I tried to not go too many meat. They only have vegetable and beef, which I already ordered beef for the kimbap, so why not just try vegetarian that chapje? I ordered these two menus because they're my favorite Korean menus, kimbap and japjae. Number three is bibimbap. So, 
Let's do it. It's been a while. 자, 하겠습니다. Mm. Mm. The Korean flavor just kicks right in. It's not spicy. You can probably add in sauce to make it spicy. I prefer my chapter not spicy. Nice texture there. Uh, unfortunately, I prefer them a little bit hotter. So the taste just comes right in. The sesame oil is packed with veggies. Peppers, capsicums, spinach, carrots, onions. Oh man. And here's the kimbap, freshly made on the plate. And this is how it looks like. You might, you can, you can definitely argue that it's just sushi. No, definitely not. Don't say that in front of Korean people. This is kimbap is a Korean dish. Okay, I'm just worried that the K-pop music from the background is gonna cause me copyrights. But let's do it. This is my favorite things. You see, everything is packed inside. Beef and also the vegetables with the egg there and also very important pickled radish that's most important i don't like pickles but this is one of the only spots that i will definitely need the pickles with no sauce first there's actually really mayo inside this so that's why i basically double up the mayo if i do the spicy mayo there's no mayonnaise inside That is how it meant to be. Mm. Ah, so good. Honestly, I'm not very hungry right now. Just for the video, I ordered these two things. Which last time I only ordered kimbap, I was already full after I finished eating. But oh man, just the flavors. Just, just packed with flavors for this thing. For this, um, Kimbap. See, one bite is actually too huge for one whole bite, but it's so good. Mm. Yeah. A little too huge, one bite. Mm. Right. Now we try to slice mayo. Mm. Not really that spicy. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really taste much. It's just like sriracha mixed with mayonnaise. Better on its own. Alright. Last bite for today. Lunch. Yeah. I'm complete everything because like I said, I'm not hungry. So. That will be my breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> oh man. Because I just want to showcase as many dishes as I can. There's actually a lot of choices here. There's also a cup bop, which is actually like poke bowl. But not really pokeball because it's just basically with rice and then the top put up some of the ingredients that you like. 
which is uh, not my thing. I prefer just go one on one on his own. But also, also Joy Myeon, that's cold chewy spicy noodles, and also ramyeon, which is uh, basically instant noodles but Korean style. Yep. During winter, they also have some cold uh, some soup, and I think hand cut noodles as well. So those are pretty good. You come into winter time. Which can warm you up, but overall, kimbap place. I always actually say yes to a kimbap because one of the soul foods of Korea. I really like it. So I'm, I'm unfortunate that this is not really fitting, but a little bit bad. But try to make that work out. Nice. Yep. There we go. That's my breakfast for tomorrow, and that's it for the video. We'll do the outro outside. All right, here we are. Now, overall, it's not cheap. Thirty dollars for those two things, fifteen for each, but definitely worth coming here. It's not too bad for oh. <laughs> that is not cool at all. <laughs> there goes the bus. So I'd rather just actually walk to Oat Street now to take the 37 or something. But I really want to go back to Causeway bus station. <laughs> I might just walk back out the main road and take a random thing or something. But really decent. Actually, the chapter can be a little bit better because it's not hot. But tomorrow when I heat it back up, it's going to be hot. So that's why it's going to be delicious tomorrow morning. And also the kimbap, of course, I'm going to heat it up as well. So these things are better served hot, but it's not really that hot today. So I was a little bit disappointed. Last time when I actually got it from Uber Eats, it was actually a little bit warm for the kimbap. So last time was a little bit better than this time through Uber Eats. But Uber Eats is really expensive. So that's why I'd rather come here and just eat. But so the, the food will be actually just a 3.5 out of 5. Because they can be better. Now the environment is pretty cozy. It's a very small little place. So I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Service though, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 full mark for the service. It's so good the service because they actually actively come over and ask me whether I want to get a new portion which is going to be a little bit. They actually freshly made another portion for me just because I'm eating here and not taking away. Really like that. Overall, I would give Kimbap Heaven a 4.2 out of 5 after generating all the scores. And also remember Korean place after you finish a meal, you can just go and grab yourself a free candy. That's one of the things that actually Korean restaurants will always do. They will they usually give it to you, but right now I just go and grab one because yeah. Mm. It's a great one. And uh, it's pretty huge this thing, so that's why be careful of choking. That's it for this video. Inside this nice suburb here, there's a random place, really nice. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos up top and I'll see you guys next time.